Hello friends, welcome again. So let us solve another hard problem in window functions, right? Why I'm taking hard problem so that you get super comfortable because see, if you, if we understand the concept well, then even hard should look easy, right? And then with that intention, we are solving medium to hard kind of problems and mainly hard so that, I mean, we are way better than the others and in the top 1% of the people who know SQL, right? Ideally, SQL is something which everyone knows, but in what depth they know and how easily they can solve the hard problems. That was, that is what, what would differentiate the people. So let us see this anyways. Now there is a table called as wineries, right? Now uh, we have <coughs> the ID, right? So ID is a column of unique values for this table. This table contains ID, country, points and winery. That means, uh, for example, if you see the row number is 103 kind of country, Australia, points 84. That means this winery in Australia got 84 points. This winery grapes gallop, right? In Australia got 85 points. And uh, we can see that, for example, this Royal Wines in USA got 39 points and Royal Wines in USA got 47 points. So we have to accumulate also later, actually. So for one winery, we can have multiple rows also. Now, write a solution to find the top three wineries in each country based on their total points, right? Based on total points, if, if points are more, then it will be the top winery, then second, then third, right? So if multiple wineries have the same total points, order them by winery name in ascending order, fine. If there is no second winery, for example, you see India has just one winery, let's say Sunset Wines with score 69. So of course, in India, if you see the result, India Sunset Wines 69. And there is no second winery, so we have to write no second winery, no third winery, right? But if, for example, in Australia, Harmony Hills score is 100, Grapes Calor score is 85 and Whispering uh, Pines 84. So wherever it is there, you mention, otherwise if it is not there, mention no second winery or no third winery. I hope this makes sense. So how do you approach this problem, right? You can read more of the description for this, uh, but I have explained you anyways. So for each country, you want one record, right? Now let's take it step by step. This is our input data. This is our input data. I'll write it. So given this binary is table and this input data, very first thing I understand that, for example, this, I'm just removing this because this, uh, creates problem here in my notepad. Huh. So if you see Royal Wines, we have two rows. So aggregation is required first of all, right? The very first step we should think of is to aggregate this wineries, right? So based on a country and winery combination, we can sum up the points, right? So that for a combination of country and winery, we have just one row. We should not have two rows. For USA and Royal Wines, USA Royal Wines, there are two rows right now. We want one. So how do you get this accumulated thing? We can do a group by. We can do a group by. So I can say select, select something from, from what table? Wineries, group by, group by country, comma, winery, right? And I can mention country comma winery and uh, sum of sum of points sum of points as total points right so basically we get this structure if we run this let me show you that let me show you okay I'll run this Let's see what do we get and you see this Australia uh, Whispering Pines 84, Australia Grapes Galore 
85 and so on so that means for a combination usa royal wines now is aggregated right you see this 86 earlier there were two rows coming so we have aggregated it that way that's good that's the very first step that we have done now what do we want next what do we want next step two step two given this as input we want to get total points along with this because in our output that's how we would need it right in our output that's how we would need so we want to basically concatenate winery and total points right winery at total points and based on this country right based on this country we want to do a ranking right based on country we want to do a ranking that means partition by country order by total points desc right so let us do that let us do that so i will take this and based on this i will try to derive this so uh, i will give make it as a city with points aggregated right points agg as as one minute as this okay now i will take this and make it take it forward select country comma and uh, as part of binary i want a combination of binary and total points right so i will concat i will say concatenate concat and uh, binary i will have and uh, after this a space and then this bracket so how to give it i give this space and a bracket like this comma what else we have to add to this what else we have to add to this uh, total points total points comma and then we have to close the bracket close this right and we say this as as winery as winery okay after this what do we want we want uh, this rank so how do we get rank uh, over partition by over partition by country order by order by total points desc total points desc i hope you are understanding what i am trying to say right uh, and if total points are same then okay based on binary alphabetical order we want to do so comma winery right okay as rank we are trying to give a rank i hope this is clear from from uh, what this particular cte let me try running this and see if this is giving the expected result let's see so you can see this we are getting the expected result we are getting winery along with this we are getting this point total points also we are getting the rank right we have partitioned based on country ordered by ordered by total score right for example in australia harmony hills have total score as 100 so it is at top grapes galore has total score 85 so it's at two number whispering pines 84 third number like that i hope this makes sense okay now what do i want next from this step three so given this as input so we have reached till this point right how to get this as the output now how to get this final output now from this so we need to see that so what we can do uh, we can even uh, i'll take this first of all and whatever i have written now i will make again this as a cte so points aggregated was one comma uh, next i can give the name as uh, let's say cte rank CTE rank as as okay 
select country this points aggregated right i have created a cte now i can use this cte ranked right select now what do i want what do i want i want let's say select country right we have country right which i can get easily from here cte ranked okay in output i want country fine comma what do i want next i want top winery second winery and third winery right this is where we have to see how to get it so i want top winery i mean i will tell the logic how to get it right now it it will not work because there is nothing like top winery or second winery i am just creating a structure and i want third winery right third winery from which table from which table cte rank because that's our latest thing now okay that's what we want and what you will understand is right now for australia we have three records for usa three records india one hungary one but for each country we want one record then it's a very clear indication that we have to group by based on country because then only we will be able to get one record so from ct rank group by group by country group by country now we already have country here that means all of these three should be a aggregate functions all of these three should be aggregate functions that's what is required now right so anyways aggregation we can do later but top winery how do i get that how do i get that so if we see this if you see uh if rank is 1 it is top winery if rank is 2 it is second winery and if rank is 3 it is third winery right within each group right for example in australia we have all this three so this is the top winery second winery and third winery that means we have to put a case statement where rank equal to 1 top winery where rank equal to 2 second winery right like that so let's do that so top winery how do we get i uh, will put that logic here now so i can say case when rank equal to 1 right where rank equal to 1 case when rank equal to 1 then then what winery end right so case when rank equal to 1 we are just saying give us winery and this should be as as what top winery top winery now see that we have to of course when rank rank equal to 1 there will be just one row for each right because we have give a criteria that okay ranks will not be duplicated right because order by criteria is sorted it will not give duplicate ranks so we know there is one rank but since we are using a group by group by does not know that oh you will get just one row and nothing is required so we need to enclose it in some grouping can be min max whatever but since there is just one row whether it's min or max it will give the same result so let me do that so i can say max max of uh, this right so i can just say like this i mean max is just required to tackle this group by otherwise this was not required because anyways there was just one row we would get out of it isn't it now that's about rank 1 now what about rank 2 rank 2 so i just take this right case when rank equal to 2 then winery end right as right as what i have to say uh second winery second winery but there can be a case when it is not there you remember right if you see this if it is null right nothing is there for example if you see this for india there is no rank 2 and 3 right then what you have to do in that case for group india there is no second and third then i mean we have to wrap it inside a 
so case when rank equal to 2 then uh, winery right and so we have to say then winery else else if rank equal to 2 is not there then what you have to do else null right because I mean, otherwise, how we will match it here? When rank equal to 2, then binary. Else, what you will give? Right? Else, null. Right? And as second binary. Now, when this is null, you do not have to print null, right? You do not have to print null. So, you have to wrap it inside a coalesce. So, I will say coalesce. Right? So, if this is basically null, if this will give null, I just have to say, no second binary. No. So I will just put this as in the next line. No. No second binary. You have to make sure you give it exactly the same way as it's asked in the system, right? You copy paste be, uh, better. No second binary. Just have a look. As second binary. Okay. Done. Now talking about third so i will just take this exactly like this coalesce max case when rank equal to three then winery give us the winery else null and if it is null then we have a coalesce no uh, no third winery as third winery right from cte uh, rank group by country as simple as that if i run this this should give me the final answer if there is no syntax issues and all this should give us the answer uh, okay i should not be giving a comma here and you can see this is accepted this is accepted you can see this our result output is this one so the trick was i mean simple thing if you would not have given this right, I mean, then uh, you, you have to tackle this nulls basically, right, using coalesce. So, you know, rank one will always be there, right? So, no problem. You do not have to give a else clause. But in case rank two is not there for a group, like for India, it is not there. Then it should be null and then later we replace null with no second binary, right? Same way for third, right? So for each grow, each country, we have just one row. That's why we are grouping based on country and we are having select country. And then all of these should be aggregate functions. Ideally, this max was not required, but since I mean, uh, we are doing a aggregate, we, it's required. And instead of max, we could have done a min also because the, it will return one row only, right? But due to this group by, we have to do this. I hope this is clear. The more you practice, the more you will get it. But I hope you would have got an idea of what I'm trying to convey. So the main trick to this is this coalesce and this case statements. If you understand this well, then you are all sorted. Right. So with this, we are good. I hope you would have enjoyed. We have covered three hard problems, one medium problem as part of the interview problems. Right. So we are seeing it on a tougher side problems we are not seeing the normal problems so generally these would, would be the hardest problems which could be asked in interviews right so some top product based companies google microsoft amazon walmart right uh, atlassian these might ask these kind of problems other companies would ask easier problems so these are the hardest of the problems which you can see as part of the topics that we are seeing so we are seeing sub queries we are seeing cte's we are seeing window functions and whatnot, right? I would, I'm sure you would be like, you would have enjoyed this and let me end the session. Hope you liked it. Thanks a lot.